my name is Evan Bergman, and I am uh, an origin of GIE. Uh, I have been working with IBM, uh, oh, at least since the early 90s. Um, uh, I was involved with OS2, the original Webster application server running under OS2. I was the only person uh, worldwide uh, and the only person in North America uh, who was certified to teach uh, IBM Webster Lombardi edition, uh, both in and out of IBM, uh, for over a year uh, after IBM's acquisition of the Lombardi Corporation. Uh, there were only three people worldwide, two of which who came from the Lombardi Corporation and myself. customer had a problem. Uh, they reported that a senior executive uh, in Thailand, if I remember correctly, uh, had an experience where they were trying to do uh, some processing in their business process. And when the customer's uh, senior executive tried to do it, uh, about once a week towards the beginning of the week, it failed. Uh, and they couldn't figure out why, because when they tried to do it, it worked fine. When I looked into it, uh, I asked for and received uh, log files, and the log files contained tens of thousands of errors. Uh, I was told that uh, I could safely ignore all those errors, uh, just find the one specific issue uh, that might be impacting this particular customer's uh, use of the tool, that it was failing for them, but not failing for anybody else. What I determined after uh, a number of hours was that the problem was not due to uh, something in the uh, system having an error per se. Instead, it was the fact that uh, this particular uh, executive and a number of others throughout the organization were trying to uh, use a particular browser, which was not compatible with a third-party toolkit that they were using in their uh, organizational uh, process. And the support people weren't using that browser, so they didn't have that problem. And it was resolved by uh, them after we gave them the advice that they could either uh, replace or fix the third-party uh, tool, um, and we told them how that would be done, or they could go ahead and um, just not have them use that browser anymore. I would say that the biggest change um, from the start uh, to later in the relationship is the customer develops uh, both understanding and trust. They develop the trust that the Origina GIEs uh, do know what we're talking about and that our suggestions uh, are often uh, worth following up on. Uh, as a GIE, we don't tell the customer what to do, we just give advice and suggestions. Uh, they also, though, develop understanding in terms of uh, when they tell us that there's an issue, sometimes the issue isn't what they think it is. And we have to do uh, root cause analysis to find out what's the actual underlying cause of the problem. Uh, and the customers get better at giving us the information and log uh, that allow us to do that more quickly and efficiently to provide better service to them. As an example, a customer came to us and said uh, they had a certain high-end product uh, that they wanted to um, be able to have supported uh, and they wanted to be able to continue to use after June of this year uh, when Internet Explorer is not going to be working anymore. They have to remove that from their environment. 
and the new browsers required um, transport layer security version 1.2 compatibility or later. And they didn't have it for the underlying systems. So it wasn't an issue with the product itself that they were asking to have supported. It was an issue with um, the Webster application server that that product ran on, and even more so with the Java virtual machine that the Webster application server runs on. So we had to make sure that their uh, Java uh, cryptographic library supported TLS 1.2 and the correct ciphers. Then we had to uh, give them advice on reconfiguring the Webster application server uh, so that it took advantage of the cryptographic capabilities provided by the library in Java that runs the application server, which in turn runs the product that they were trying to ensure would be supported after June of this year. Uh, and they had 18 servers that needed to be updated with multiple moving parts between each one of them. Uh, this was for a uh, business process management system, so they had a process center server that had to be updated, and it had to also talk via TLS 1.2 to the process servers. Uh, it also had to have the uh, integration designer able to talk to the process center and process servers, and the process designer had to be able to talk to the process center, process servers. So all these different components needed to be updated um, in a holistic fashion. I mean, the whole system, not just a piece, the whole thing had to be updated uh, so that all of the communications would continue to work. If I run into something where customers ask me a question and it's, for example, requiring me to get some Oracle database uh, support. I'm not an Oracle database expert, but we have GIEs who are. Uh, I've been called into many tickets because I have the expertise in Webster Application Server to lend support to other GIEs who are maintaining other products. It's the cumulative expertise from uh, multiple people that, uh, in my opinion, makes Origina stand out from uh, in-house technical support. Not that we know their environment better than they do, but we know multiple aspects of their environment better than most people do, uh, because we have a very experience and a high level uh, of skill in a lot of different components spanning the gamut.